It is currently 15.02, and we were off to a great start as Burgundy. We have 20,000 ducats as well as, as well as having a positive balance of 61 a month. We are part of the HRE. We own a good chunk of Italy, all of France, and a bit of England. Of course, I'm going to show you guys how we got there, and that's going to be by starting as France. And if you guys do enjoy this, please consider subscribing. Both out of the way, let's jump into it. Make sure Burgundy is hostile, but not rivaled, and make sure Castile is friendly. We're going to improve relations with Burgundy straight away, and we'll go ahead and ally Castile. And let's do our estates real fast. Please look at our estates, and we're going to seize land. It is important that we seize land, because we need to seize land five times to annex all our subjects. And we're going to go ahead and Royal Mary Orleans straight away, before we unpause. Go ahead and grab some advisors. We have a nice half-off advisor in both Admin and Diplo. We can grab. Go ahead and remove your castles, as you're not going to need those. I'm going to merge my navies, grab a Admiral, then send them over to Bas Poitou, and then send my armies there as well. We're going to pick those up and head into Scotland momentarily. The rivals, go ahead and rival England and Aragon. I'm going to break my alliance with Provence. Go ahead and send a Scornful to England. Grab an alliance with Scotland. I'm going to go ahead and ask for military access from Scotland so we can send our troops up to Dumfries. So I'm going to send my troops up to Scotland now. I'm going to go ahead and get indebted to the burghers. We'll go ahead and buy some indulgences. And also grab the free company. Who we're going to ship up to Scotland as well. Now that Burgundy's friendly, I'm going to go ahead and offer him an alliance. And we'll also offer him a real marriage. Although I'd recommend we keep improving his relations to the max. Because that alliance can be really fickle. So you always want really high relations with Burgundy. We'll start improving relations with Orleans. Now we just patiently wait for the war to start. We'll get a chance of being the papal controller. If England actually surrenders mains, like in this case, you'll want to alt it for. We got the surrender of main. We'll select the first option, time to teach them how to war. We're just going to send our stacks here and here. Oh, I need to hide my ships too. I don't want those dead. And during this war, I'm going to fabricate claims with Provence. The dream is that he gets excommunicated, but that probably won't happen. End of fight here, and Scotland's abandoned me. Classic AI. I might lose this battle in the end of Scotland's. Scotland's memeing. Hey, Scotland, you're actually going to show up and help. How about we do that the first time? I'm going to go murder his troops now. Once we got four battles won with our general, we can go ahead and grab this mission. Gives us three cannons. We have our tech up for the innovativeness here. Fabricate a claim on Provence. I started building a spy network on the Papal State. If you get the opportunity to steal Thuta from Portugal, it's nice for the age ability. Not a huge deal either way. But I'll grab war reps and money from him as well. You can see that way I have the president on two continents objective. I'm going to go ahead and grab the retake Gasky mission. I'm going to curry favors with Burgundy. I'll go ahead and declare war on Provence. Going to promise Burgundy land. I'm going to end the war with England, taking all the mainland stuff, giving Calais to Burgundy, and then taking London. And we might as well get a little money. We'll get rid of the free company now. I'm going to get rid of the new forts that we don't need. State up our provinces. And we might as well corp London. I'll go ahead and grab the Liberate Normandy mission. And we're just going to sell our guys back over, group up with our cannons, and we can help in this war, of course. I'm going to sell some guys down to Suta to deal with those revolts. I'm going to fabricate a claim on... Avagon. We grab the mission, appease the dynasties. Troubles in Suta are dealt with. We're going to send these guys back over to London now. And we're going to move all these provinces over to Burgundy. I'll grab a colonization from Provence. I'm going to take these provinces and give Burgundies these ones. And I'm going to immediately seize land so I can annex more people. Concentrate dev a little bit to my capital. And I'll boost my dev by one just to get to that 30 for the age ability. Or age objective, rather. And then let's go ahead and get the golden age rolling. Can upgrade this. We'll just get one dev here, upgrade that. We'll go ahead and upgrade this trade center here. That'll allow us to kick off the Golden Age. We're gonna hold on this mission until ready to do some aggressive conquering. When you get this mission here, just go ahead and decline it. We'll go ahead and grab the nobility integration policy. We're gonna start integrating Orleans here in a second. There we go. Need to grab some new rifles. We can check to see if there's any easy way to get into a war with England to reset the truce. Don't think there is. Got our two-two reform. I'm just gonna grab the taxes. Go ahead and annex my subjects here. Grab middle tech 5 here. New unit type. You can occasionally check for your subjects' errors to see if they're good. You can steal them. Actually, I'm going to turn, turn off my maintenance and chill for a bit. I'm going to go ahead and get claims on Savoy. Okay, our first integration's done. That's good. We should have Orleans integrated shortly. I'll just suspend the extra guys. I don't really need them. We'll start improving with some of our other subjects now. Go ahead and seize land here. Have a claim on Savoy. So I've just been kind of hanging out. I'm going to try to repay my loans. Waiting for my age perk for the AE mod, and then I'm also trying to get espionage for the extra AE. We got our age ability, we're gonna go with Justify Wars. The Shadow Kingdom event is about to happen, and then we can attack into Italy. And I got the Throne of Milan, but I'm just gonna hit, we have no interest. Okay, we're out of debt now, that's pretty nice. So I can get my tech to 
5, and we can start getting espionage ideas. We're looking for the state propaganda here. I'm going to go ahead and declare war on the papal state. Should be a pretty easy war. I'm going to get state propaganda now. Better start improving with another one of my subjects. For this war, I'm going to pop this provincial question mission for the 15% aggressive expansion impact. That should bring me up to 55%. I'm going to grab Avnagon and Saluzo in the war, and that should be okay. Start annexing another subject. I'm going to go ahead and declare war on Savoy. I'm going to call my allies Burgundy and Castile and Cobalager Aragon. Okay, another guy is integrated. Wasn't able to get a whole lot on this war because Castile occupied everything, but we'll just take the two that aren't occupied by him and money. And that might piss off Castile, but I don't really care. This is the nice mountains that we could put a fort in. But yeah, we also need to insult the Pope. I kind of forgot about that. There's a mission here. Ooh, subjugation on Naples. Maybe we should just subjugate Naples. I'm going to grab a land right. I just noticed I'm over my gov cap. I'll go ahead and end the war. I'm just going to take these provinces and then give Burgundy whatever he'll take over here. And money. Okay, not that much money. There we go. See if we can concentrate dev here. Yeah, I can. I'll go ahead and seize land. And I'll just enable Scooge on both my guys so I could possibly annex them, whatever. I need to get my relations up still with this guy. I'm going to declare a subjugation war on Naples. Call him Burgundy and Cobbledger Genoa. I'll influence my subject. I want to get him annexing soon. I'm going to start improving with my last subject here. Send my subject a gift, then we can start annexing him. Go ahead and start annexing that guy now. I'm going to go ahead and take this as one province from Genoa. That'll let me complete a mission here that will provide me a negative 10% AE. Are you pretty good? It's something insane, but it's negative 72%. Of course, if we had the PAL controller, we could be at, at the cap, but I didn't really want to scum save for that. But if you wanted to, you could. Grab the institution now. I'm a little late on that, but it's not a huge deal. Got the Embrace Renaissance mission done. Just going to grab the burger loans because we're going to go into debt anyways. Might as well get the burger loans. Got to get a bunch of rebels though. And we'll, we'll grab another land, right? And we can raise war taxes even though it's going to cost us one mil a month. I think that's fine. So we got the 50% off bonus. Bring France. So I'm just going to white peace Florence and then white peace Luca. That way I don't have long truce with those other guys. And I'll just go ahead and vassalize Naples. Get some money. Can improve relations with Naples. Excommunicated. Unfortunate. I guess I'll just, you know, buy indulgences and that goes away. Got the Throne of Naples event. And what is this? It's a nice advisor cost. Oh, wait, that's not for me. It's for Naples. And we'll take that power projection. It's quite nice. Send a bunch of armies over to England to get ready for this war. Or we pay a loan or two. I don't really need that much money floating. So I'm going to go ahead and declare war in Brittany. Publisher at England. I should let all my troops cross before I start the war, but... Well, now it's too late. Whoever has made it, made it. Hopefully the cannons made it. Cannons definitely made it, right? Oh yeah, they actually did. Who's going to carve siege out? England here. England's working on his first fort. Meanwhile, half his nation sieged. So I've sieged out all of his stuff while he hasn't sieged the fort yet. And now we're going to go kill him. This war is going poorly for England. We can't really cross the water, though. I don't really know what else we can do. We've kind of reached a max value out of England. I can't really beat his navy and Portugal's. We're never making it across the water, though. That's a, I've come to accept that. I guess I'll just give Burgundy Utrecht because he wants it. Sure thing, buddy. It's all yours. I'm going to have Portugal and New with England war reps and whatever money he'll give me. I'm going to peace out England. I'm trying to steal all his trade. I'm gathering all the trade centers here. As you can see, we've got these four trade centers now. I'm going to go ahead and fully annex Brittany. A little bit of a coalition starting to form, but nothing major yet. I'm going to concentrate Deb because I'm overextended. And I don't want to pay all that to core. I'm already over my cap capper. Probably need to grab, grab the last rent, land right, actually. Fortunately, I've been stuck grabbing all the land rights. can seize land here, though. And that should allow me to start annexing my last appendage, or appanage. I'm not sure if either one of those pronunciations is correct. Let me know in the comments. All right, so we annexed that guy. It's all done with. Just have Naples to deal with. I'm going to break lands with Scotland now. Don't even need that alliance. Got to revoke guarantee as well. Oh, and cancel my access. I'll enable Scootage on Naples so we can annex him when, when it's available. It's not going to be available for a few more years, though. Dude, poor Portugal. He didn't deserve this. So I'm going to declare war on Genoa, Colin Burgundy, Cobaldre, Florence, and let's jump into it. I left a lot of my guys in England, so hopefully they don't have ships. I don't think they do. I'm going to grab this Diplo annexation cost. I guess they'll got the Iberian wedding. So he's actually doing really well. He is starting to colonize. We'll have to murder him someday, surely. I'm just going to wipe Peace Ferrara. I'll separate Peace Florence and take most of his land and some money. I won't be able to core everything because it's the coastline. And we're also over cap cap slightly. Sign the war to Noah. Take these three provinces. We're, we're going to get coalitioned after this war. So what we're going to do is just attack before we get coalitioned. Coalition is going to be inevitable at this point. We're a little overextended too. Can we fix it? Yes. Okay, concentrate there. I'm going to seize land before I start the next war. I wish I wouldn't get rebels, but I will. Can I have to move on to the next war instantly? Because we're going to get coalitioned. Declare war on the Papal States. Make the war go at Roma. And then Cobalt Milan. 
a little over gov cap. I don't really know how to solve that though. Yeah, I have all three land rights already, so I can't really do anything there. Oh, we need a new royal marriage. That would have been tragic. Thanks for reminding me, Burgundy. And by the way, would you also just kindly die? We're gonna have to hire mercenaries. Let's grab the free company. Can I score shouldn't run? Oh yeah. Gotta meet up with my other boys. Oh, I'm just gonna increase autonomy in Navarra. I don't wanna deal with rebels right now. And we're over gov cap. I don't know how to solve that. Can expand infrastructure once. Could pay off this guy's debt, which is not really good for us, but then I'm like, okay, maybe we just dev this guy up a little bit. I'm gonna dev this guy up just a little bit, if I can. And then I'm gonna focus this, go into a loan to get that advisor to max. I'm doing that because this mission down here gives you a ton of reform progress growth. And that way I can expand my infrastructure a little bit. I don't wanna expand it much because it's a waste, but I don't wanna be over gov cap either. Grab our next reform here as well. Let's just do cartel clerical privileges. We'll even expand one more time. So that does help. But yeah, we're having gov cap issues and that's fine. It's not unexpected that we're having gov cap issues. We gotta regain control of our land. But we're doing a pretty good job of reverse carpet sieging. Yeah, once I regain control of my stuff, I'm hoping we make money and then we can send a gift to Naples. Next age ability, we can do the transfer at half cost. Okay, so we should be able to send a gift to Naples. Just wanna start annexing. We could start annexing, we just need to give him some money. Let's wait for the month tick. We need 17 relations. So that should be good. Then I'm going to start annexing him in a month. So we'll start annexing Naples. I'm going to dissolve alliance with Castile now. Because I want to murder him. Yeah, our AU mods are kind of gone at this point. Well, we still have 50%, but not a ton compared to what we used to have. Cup cap is just a problem I can't solve. I'm going to go ahead and take what I can from Milan. It's going to be, yeah, quite large coalition territory. Not that I really care at this point. I'll concentrate development. We're almost at Gov cap again. I'm going to start a piece Mantua and just take the province. Colonization with the Papal States. I'm going to ally to the Ottomans and concentrate out of Rome a bit. We are definitely overextended. Fortunately, I can't attack Venice because he allied to Poland. So that's not my favorite thing. Can't really attack in Europe anymore. We're kind of coalitioned by, you know, half of Europe. And we'll hit, we'll never support such a state for this Rome thing. Rome is mine. I'll get rid of the free company though. We're going to have to gear up for some rebels, of course. People are going to be really mad. 99,000 rebels? That is a problem. Oh no. Why are they so mad? That's bad. I don't know if I can fix it. Please have a national arrest advisor. Okay, thank you. That should make it... I mean, it's still 84. What else can we do? I don't think there's anything else we can do. I think that's just... That's who we are. 84,000 rebels on the way and I can't move my guys over here. This is not looking good. Well, 84,000 rebels. Here we go. Luckily, they split up into three stacks of 30, 42, and 12. Yeah, we're getting coalition by half of Europe, but that's kind of part of the plan. I mean, it's not all of Europe, it's just like most. These rebels aren't actually that bad. They siege one province down, it's whatever. But we're gonna have more rebels on the way, of course. This mission's done, though. I mean, I don't know that any of these will help. Sure. Definitely rebels simming really hard now. We got the Burgundian succession, so that's great. Pretty happy with that. We gotta use our ships to go over here, fortunately. Luckily, we got some forts that are slowing down the rebels. So don't click this mission when you get the inheritance, of course. We're gonna save that. We are kind of just a rebel simming because we are overextended, which is perfectly fine. It's kind of just expected at this point. Provoke here. I'm trying to do our best to manage this, but it's, you know, it's a lot of rebels. Our truce with Ferrar is over and he's obviously in a coalition, so I'm just going to go. That would, that would be nice because I have a path to my land as well. Put Barrage of Sultan in his capital. I couldn't get there in time to stop that siege, but yeah, what do you do? I guess I'll support Loyal so this guy will help me in the war. Oh, right. We're going to be with Austria. All Burgundy is ours, so whatever. Ottomans joined in. He doesn't really have that many allies. He's kind of weak. Those wars aren't particularly crazy. I mean, it's kind of crazy, but Austria's really big. But he's not as big as me. Austria's kind of hard focusing the Ottomans. But I'm not, I'm hard focusing on my, on my other war. Let's wipe these Switzerland. And then we'll just take the one province that we wanted to take over here. I'm going to force Austria to cancel subject on Hungary in this war. That should definitely hurt him quite a bit. I'm going to full state everything. Even if I'm over gap cap, it doesn't matter. I've got to finish coring this. You have to have everything in a full state for this to work. So I'm just going to have to wait till I can full state up everything. I can, however, turn off our maintenance. I'm going to ally to Poland just for extra protection. I've got everything in full states now. And we're just waiting to annex Naples, which is relatively soon. Grab mill 8 here. Finished up our annexation of Naples. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and full state all of that. I'm going to go ahead and return Suta because I can't grant it to Burgundy. That's just too far away. And no connecting path. I'm going to go ahead and demote Gascon because I need to promote English. We're just going to replay the next year or two until we get the inheritance. So we got the Duchess of Burgundy dies. We didn't even have to reload our game once, which is nice. Just It just happened. So we're going to grant all our mainland provinces to Burgundy. 
but we're going to hold off on granting the England ones. I'll show you why in a second. Now we're going to culture shift to English. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and grant England land to Burgundy. The reason we're doing this is because we're giving cores to Burgundy. So go ahead and hit, I could kiss that horse now. And we're going to need to go ahead and full state up everything. Now we need to save some points to move our capital to Burgundy's old capital. Don't know how the corruption snuck up on me. That's okay. We'll get it lowered. So I'm going to move my capital to Burgundy's old capital now. Now I'm going to try to trigger Burgundian rebels. So we're going to promote and demote Burgundy a few times. I'll go ahead and try to piss off Burgundy a little bit more. But that should be good. He's already at a 20%, so he just needs a couple months to get there, I would imagine. 25% chance a month, so they should be there in about a year. So the rebels hit 50%, I'm going to go ahead and provoke them. And I will go ahead and turn on my maintenance now. I'm going to send a couple guys into suicide, so I can sally forth. So sally forth's here, or sortie. That just makes it so there's no garrison and it will instantly siege. Okay, now that it's siege, we can go ahead and kill the rebels. We go ahead and repay the burger loans, so I can take new burger loans. And then I'm going to go ahead and take max loans. Then I'll grant the uh, promote burgers bookkeeping just to lower that inflation. So I'm just going to turn off my maintenance and chill until the 1500s. Grab Abin 6 here. Still plus 6. Grab Mill 9. Abin 7. It is January 1500. I'm going to quickly focus Diplo and abandon my idea group so I can get a little more Diplo points back. That way I can get a tech up and it's probably worth it to, to not be unbalanced going into Burgundy. So I'm going to grab Diplo 7 and now we're going to become Burgundy. I'm going to show you guys the process of that now. Go ahead and release Burgundy and hit send. So now we're going to grant Burgundy Paris, which was our old capital. And then we're going to click the mission, the Burgundian succession. Hit I could kiss that horse. So now we're going to resume until near the end of the month. 27th of August should work. Go ahead and release Burgundy, but this time select play as their least subject and hit send. Now we simply need to wait for the month tick and France will lose to rebels. So you can see that there. France immediately lost to rebels and I am no longer a subject nation. But one nice thing about the strategy is the is Burgundy actually finishes admin ideas for you, and then we can just get rid of defensive in favor of diplomatic. Grab our new unit types. Our tech's not terrible, it's 779, it's not great. Really, we're in a relatively fine position. We can see what we can do on our mission tree, probably just this mission here. What does this do? We can join the HRE? What the hell? That is not expected. Oh, well, we might as well join the HRE, I didn't even know this was possible. I have never much cared for claiming the French throne. Right. So I'm going to state up everything, which... I may not be able to actually reasonably do. I'm going to have to grab some mercs here so I don't get warred with, of course. Let's probably just grab those three mercs. And even if it costs us a bit of money, we have 22,000 ducats. It's not going to be a huge worry. I'll try to get Poland as an ally, possibly. Just look at our privileges. We need another land, right? And we probably, let's see, we have the, we have one of the mana privileges. Probably would want the others. What, what else do we want? We're going to grab religious diplomats. Grab the male mana privilege. I don't have any guys, so I don't want to seize land at the moment, so I'm not going to grant the last mana privilege. But we'll probably grant that in a bit here. Suppose we can grab the Defender of the Faith for the extra morale, I, I guess. Of course, we're a great power now. Probably the number one great power. Yes. So we're getting our guys recruited up. we got three armies that can hold the line for a bit. Yeah, we got to grab these. I forgot about these. What do we want? We're just going to grab Autocracy. Get the extra manpower. We'll do this tier three reform. Expand Temple Rights is fine. We rolled a 303, which isn't my favorite, but... It is what it is. I want to grab level 1 advisors at least. Oh, and we need to collect trade from the English Channel. And probably Genoa as well. Make a bit more from trade now. We almost can get a friend in Poland. I'm going to upgrade some centers of trade for the age objective. So just upgrade 4 and 5. That way we can get a golden age. So go ahead and start that golden age. We have a little bit of corruption, so we're spending a lot of money rooting that out. But once that's rooted out, we probably won't lose so much money. But yeah, half a year of corruption's worth. Go ahead and ally to Poland. I'm curious if Austria will let me join the HRE. Ally to Austria, I suppose. We could form into France again, by the way. Not that I'm going to do that straight away. But this is an option. So we become a part of the HRE. I, don't, I didn't have to become the HRE. I just thought it was weird and funny. So I thought, why not? If I turned to France, I'd be allied to Austria and that would be weird. I got the join the empire mission done. Okay. All right. I'd be tempted to try to become the emperor, which I know is silly. So as you can see, we make quite a bit of money now. 61 a month. We have a ton of money. And we're going to be in a great spot to continue this run. And if you guys do want to see the continuation of this run, let me know by liking the video. If it hits 500 likes, go ahead and do that. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great one.